magical charms I remember all the games we play Like it was just yesterday How I got lost in your clear blue eyes When we kissed our sweet goodbyes I remember almost everything Like it was just yesterday Hey, watch it. Hey! She's out of control. Buckle up. Come on, man, slow down. We want to make it to 30. Don't slow her down. Almost saw a smile. Yeah, I think she likes you. I don't know how you put up with this. <laughs> they're only like this when they're together. Trust me. Yeah, critical mass. Really brothers? I just want to know if we're really bros, bro. What a cynic. I'll let you in on a little secret. We share the same mother, only my dad is Jesse Helms and uh, his dad is Vidal Castle. <laughs> what? Jeez. Hey, Jill, cut it out. That's right. Stop it. Sorry I asked. No, you see, Kate, let me tell you. Truth is, Mike's parents adopted Tom when he was nine. His folks died in a plane crash. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we're gonna die now. If you get Kate, get I back. I see it. I see it. Oh, oh. down.
Slow down, there's the mailbox. Yep, that's it, that's color. Guessing the Teresa two step? Yep. Well, it's your kind of house, babe. You got that right. Hold on. What are you doing? Can't you read? What do you got? We're up, Wynn. It's showtime. It's showtime. It's showtime. What's with that? It's a trick of the trade, just in case this thing's airborne. What's with the rock? What's with the rock? Yeah, that big thing on your finger. We're getting married. Excuse me? Congratulations. Yeah. God. Congratulations. Thank you. Dr. Reinhardt, please stay where you are. Stay right there, sir. Lieutenant Roebuck. Doctor? Hello. This is uh, Dr. Mike Lugo, Dr. Tom Banks, Dr. Jill Gold. How do you do? You really should be quarantined, Doctor. I understand. Please, come. And like I told him on the phone, I've never seen anything like this. When was he in Zaire? Uh, Monday. Monday night he came up here. Who else is in the house? Oh, his, uh, his family and a maid. They refused hospitalization, but then there's always been something strange about that. Symptoms? Oh, well, nausea, cough, a fluid loss, and some very severe cholera-like symptoms. And then it was like, a bomb exploded inside of him. These symptoms, when did they present? Tuesday morning, as far as I can tell. How is he now? That's just it. 20 minutes ago, he started violently hemorrhaging and wailing with pain. And then he just died. That's the way it was. He's dead? Dead in three days? Some tourist did two steps.
minus civilian personnel, staff meeting at 9. Okay, may I have your attention, please? How do you like the wine? It's good. All yeah, right, it's a gift from my brother Tom, who would like me to remind you that the world's greatest scientist is still Mother Nature. Thank you, Tom. We're here to talk about epidemiology, so let's begin. No, you won't be needing those yet. Hang on a second. Just before you all came in here, I covered the doorknobs with a harmless luminescent chemical. Quite invisible under room light, but, uh, but quite responsive to ultraviolet. <laughs> All right, settle down now. And this, ladies and gentlemen, could easily have been the start of an epidemic. Thank God. You guys scared the piss out of me. I mean, Look, there was an accident in the hot lab. I need your help. I'll explain on the way. Come with me. Wait a minute. What's that got to do with me? What about my Jeep? Keep riding with me. Let's go. Hey, I quit, remember? Hey. Let's move it out. Watch the clutch on that, all right? What's going on? I got basketball. There was a fire in the lab. The Keller virus has been stolen. What? Ten vials. Everything we had. That's insane. Yeah, it gets worse. Tom's been on that for like three years. Uh, Take a look. Are you saying Tom did it? I don't believe it. Driver, let's go. General, what effect do you think this new bioweapons treaty will have? It's a symbol, Miss Sadler. To demonstrate our commitment to the end of the use of biological material as a tool of war. Well, there's still no way to monitor compliance. Well, it's a beginning. Our sources claim that uh, there was an accident, a fire in one of your research labs. That's the first I've heard of it. Well, these same sources claim that biological weapons are being produced at that site. I suggest you check your sources. Do you have any comment? This interview's over. It's a very complicated world out there, my dear. Try to remember we're the good guys.
gonna be really upset. I can't believe. What did you guys take his entire house? I mean, this is a 90. He's gonna freak. I mean, you guys have... I thought I lost this watch, like, two years ago. Mike, look, I know it seems excessive, but we needed to look for clues, any clues, as to what he's doing, where he might She's go. She was really beautiful, wasn't she? Yes, she was. It's hard to believe this was only six months ago. with the APB, tell the cops he's a section 81A wall, tell them he's got uh, smallpox, they'll leave him alone, just call me. We're running the operation from here, no CDC, no CIA, we're not even telling the cops the real deal. General wants to keep it in the family. That's interesting, he still thinks of me as family. He assumes you care about your brother. I do, and I don't believe he'd be doing this. Mike, we haven't seen him lately. Lyons, where are those satellite printouts? Thank you. Unbelievable. License and registration, please. Yes, sir. Something funny? Dr. Banks? No, it's just that I've never been pulled over in my life. <laughs> For anything. Doctors get away with murder, if you ask me. Uh, you want some sort of emergency, something? No. Not really, no. Clocked you going 69 to 55 mile an hour zone. First time or not, I'm gonna have to write you a ticket. I understand. That's, you know, that's fine. Wouldn't be an alcoholic beverage in there, Dr. Banks, would there? No, uh, it's, uh, blood samples. Uh-huh. Mind if I have a look? Uh, no, it's not an emergency, but I'm actually in a rush. I do have Open to... Open it, please. Yes, sir. Looks more like urine to me. But what do I know? You keep it at the speed limit, Dr. Banks. Yes, sir. Have them monitor the police bands, look for unusual yeah. acts of violence, strange behavior, anything like that. Come on, what do you think, he's gonna go on a rampage? Mike, your brother's carrying around 10 vials of a lethal virus. You know better than I what that means. I don't know what any of this means. Well, that's too bad, because I'm counting on you to help me figure it out. Is that why I'm here? Yes. You called me in so I can help you trap my brother? Just to provide background, Mike. Right, yeah. After you left, Tom worked only with Jill, and when she died, he worked alone. I'm hoping you can help me find the key to this. Sir, the briefing for the team leaders is in two minutes. What does that have to do with me? I was told you were speaking. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Dr. Michael Lugo. He'll be briefing you on the specifics. Hi. Um, okay. The virus first emerged in Yambuku, Zaire. It burned through 50 villages. Hundreds died, maybe thousands. It was headed for Kinshasa, population 2 million. And then it just stopped. How? It got too hot. Too hot? You see, these villages were quite a distance from each other, so it killed the human host before it could spread to the next population. About three years ago, a diamond dealer named Donald Keller unknowingly carried the virus back from Zaire. Fortunately, it was contained, but not before it killed the entire Keller family, as well as the maid and the doctor. Their families all died as well. And this is what Banks has? Uh, no, he has 10 vials of the Keller strain. So this guy could walk into a mall, open up one of the damn vials, and a thousand people die. 
like? Uh, fortunately, no. It's only transmittable by direct contact. You can't catch the virus from an infected person unless you've been exposed to the blood, sweat, or other bodily fluids. So you can't get it through a, a cough? Cough, no. It uh, degrades rapidly in air. Although, theoretically, if you combine it with a simple influenza virus, voila, it's airborne. Combiner born? DNA splicing. Useful for those crazies who are trying to fashion these things into weapons. Banks just got stopped in West Virginia for speeding. Do we have him? No, we haven't covered West Virginia yet. We're focusing on D.C. and North, Delaware, New Jersey, New York. All right, well, let's get on it. He could be in the Carolinas by now. Let's move out. At 10 above legal speed limits, this is the perimeter from where he was stopped. OK, let's get our people in place, Lions. That circle is expanding by the minute. Captain Robo, it's him. Thanks. He says he wants to talk to his brother. He knows I'm here? Apparently. <laughs> Guys, I need a quiet in here. You think I can get some privacy? Uh, wait a minute. Carter, what's going on with that phone call? It's a landline. It's going to take a minute to track down the system. OK, Mike, keep him on as long as you can. Mike, man. Tommy. Hello? Mike, is that you? Tommy, what's going on? It's a long story. Why? What's this about? Help. What do you say? Help with Tommy. Tommy. I'm here. Tommy, listen to me. They believe you stole some killer. I did. All of it. That's crazy. I knew you would say that. Well, what the hell am I supposed to say? You're playing mad freaking scientist here. Mike, I promise you'll understand someday. You know, tell me this is some sort of gag or something, please, Tommy. Hey, man, I wish I could. But I can't. All right, then I'm going to do everything they want to help bring you in. You understand that? Well, you just tell them not to get too close, Mike, because I got enough killer to take out the whole East Coast. Tell me you're a doctor, for Christ's sake. I am. I got to go. Tommy? Oh. Shoot, we got him. Payphone, gas station, Crown Street, Brooksville, West Virginia. All right, still heading south. We got anybody there? I'm on that. Good. Good work, Carter. Just doing my job. That would put him 50 miles further south. All right. We got to get some people in there immediately. We'll do. Hey. Come here. Yeah. Check north. You got something? He's playing with you. Tommy never gets speeding tickets. He doesn't speed, especially if he knows he can't be stopped. And a pay phone? Come on. Don't you understand? He's got every device, every cellular phone trick. He doesn't need that. <laughs> I can't believe you, you guys got this. Kate, were you there? Were you shooting this? Yeah. Look at them. That's my brother. 
Oh no, I gave him so much hell about that one. Yeah. I never really fit in, did I? Really? Yeah. Guys were always the scientists talking Nobel Prizes. And you? Well, you know, a uniform, right? Always too serious for you guys. I caught you smiling a couple of times. I do. Yeah, there. Is that a smile? Huh? Hard to believe she drowned. She's a very good swimmer, yeah. <laughs> you afraid of getting cooties? Never been a customer got sick at Milo's. Take care of that cough. I got something for it back at my place. If you're interested. <sighs> the burger almost done. Joe, you killed that cow yet? Boy out here's in a hurry. You want me to call the auto club or something? No. Uh, you want to make 20 bucks? 20 bucks? Yeah, sure. All right, I'm going to get some stuff out of the back then. I want every record you can get. Uh, credit cards, phone receipts, laundry stubs. OK. One second. I need clubs, uh, magazine subscriptions, video rentals. OK. One moment. That's all. Thanks. What's up? She didn't drown. What are you talking about? You told me to check the labs, right? Yeah, so? Okay, not only was Jill a great swimmer, she was like a damn lifeguard as a kid. Maybe she got a cramp, Mike, I don't know. On the day that she supposedly drowned, she signs out for a vial of Keller. It was never returned. Sure, it was just an oversight. You don't leave this facility without signing that stuff back in. You created the procedures. That's true. It was the last entry in her log. Something happened with that vial. June 30th, Jay Banks. That's it. Keller, positive. She died of Keller. Man, he surfaced about 90 minutes from here. Where? A diner, uh, Wishing Well, Maryland. Maryland, that's kind of south. Well, let's suit up. I'm right behind you. I'm on my way. Been a while, huh? It's like riding a bike. So, let me get 
this straight. You were here the whole time this incident took place? Ma'am, it's just me and Laura here. We're the only ones who wait tables. And you saw the entire thing? Yes, ma'am. Fella comes in, he gives me grief. He tells me to just leave him be, so I do. I was just trying to be friendly, mind you. So I don't pay much attention, if you know what I mean. I mean, somebody like that can get their own damn coffee as far as I'm concerned. Please, Miss, um... Miss... Dolores. So he just up and leaves. Has a flat tire out there. Kid helps him out with it. I guess he must have figured out the kid did it. Must have made him mad because he put a gun to the kid's head and just drove him off. Captain, if you think of anything else. All these people sleep on the wrong side of the bed, I swear. This is from the trace blood found on the tire iron. What are those things? Spires. Killer, right? Mm -hmm. Is there a positive ID? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's Tommy. He's hot? He's dying. He's on again. Uh, Hi, bro. Where's the bus boy, Tom? He was hot. So are you. You know? You left traces on the tire iron. Of course. I know about Jill, too. What about her? It was Keller, wasn't it? Why didn't you tell me? I could. Jeez, must have been hell. Talk to me, Carter. He's got to have a satellite phone. Can you get a fix on it? Not if he is. You want to talk now? Uh, we were in the lab, and she was dissecting, and the knife uh, slipped. You know, cut her through the suit. And she looks over at me, and she calls for me. She says, Tommy.
Tommy, I need you over here, and she's completely calm. Says Tommy Stat, and I come over. You didn't. I just went for the saw, and I went over there, and I. I. I started to cut. And I didn't cut in time. Listen, Tommy, you don't have to. They took her over to ISO, and they wouldn't let me in. I guess I was kind of a wreck, and I just wanted to get in there and hold her, you know, and just calm her down, and... And I watched her go. They wouldn't let me in. I tried. I was, you know, just gonna go comfort her. And she... She just was concerned about me. That was it. She just wanted to make sure I was okay. She said that I should call you and go tell you. You should have. They wouldn't let me. Ask Kate. That's when I knew what I had to do. Tom, I can't imagine. No, you can't. Can you tell me where you are? What you want? I've been thinking about Germany. Germany? You know, like in 1938, when they were making that Zyklon B. The pesticide kills bugs. How'd you like to be making that pesticide and find out that they're using it to kill people in Auschwitz? What would you do? Come on, Tommy, don't play games. Be honest. What would you do? I don't know. Leave, get out. And you did. I disagree, I say stay. You wanna get Hitler, but you can't. So you get the next best thing, you get Eichmann, but you get. This isn't Germany. Yeah, well, Germany wasn't Germany until we won the war. Right, Mike? I gotta go. Satellite, no help. I guess I didn't need to know, right? It wasn't my decision, Mike. I hope you know that. What else don't I know? You left the program, Mike. I have to get some sleep. Good night. Good night.
I checked the lab. There's no record of anything Tom or Jill were doing. Check the computer, files are gone. No journals, they even destroyed old blood tests and specimen samples. It's a very complete job. This isn't helping me, Mike. I don't think he means harm. He's just cleansing the place of a terrible organism. What about the boy? He said that was an accident. An accident? An innocent boy is either dead or, or dying. There's a killer virus floating around out there and you're defending him? What am I, nuts? And why isn't this not contained yet? We're working on that, sir. Dr. Liver? Joe? What is Tom up to? Sir, I don't have a clue. Your brother has endangered the entire population of this country. Captain Roebuck, may I have a word with you, please? Of course, sir. I'm not defending him. Would you excuse us, Dr. Liver? See, you're still having Sergeant Lyons make the coffee. Right? <laughs> I need this contained, Kate. Sir, we're doing everything possible. Yes, I understand. But the man is still free. Killing civilians and threatening us. May I call on other agencies, sir? No. He's an amateur and he's in the neighborhood. You can handle it. Yes, sir. I don't like the brother. Is he helping? Uh, on background, yes, sir. Just make sure he doesn't cause any trouble. Yes, sir. Remember who's in charge here. Oh, I do, sir. No, not me. You, Captain. You're a good officer, Kate. And I'm trusting your judgment on this one, all right? Thank you, sir. Still the same old charmer? Hey. Uh, Mike, please. Listen, Sergeant, Kate, I need Kate, you to. Mike, just... please, not now. Sergeant, I need you. Mike, I, I'm gonna have to ask you to go if you can help. That's my brother out there, okay? My problems are bigger than that. Shouldn't have called me. I guess I made a mistake. Listen, I didn't know you were studying swine flu. It's not my area. Well, that's done at other facilities. Unless somebody out there wants to do some gene splicing. Does this have something to do with Tom? I think it does.
Nine, two. If you get anything new, Carl. It's all here. What is? Computer printouts, his records, everything. How did you do? When we first started here, we set up a mutual backup system. Okay, the same password, the works. That way, in case something happened to one of us, the other could access the records. I guess they forgot. All right, Mike, so what did you find? Keller's air warrant. What? Yes, that's what he was working on for all this time. Okay, let's go to my This office. changes everything. Okay, there's no way to control it. You know, he spliced this into a weapons-grade virus. You really didn't know? No, I didn't know. I'm an administrator. I don't get involved in that. Don't look that way. I'm the one who has to call Prentice. Oh, I'm sure he doesn't know it either. Thank you. Yes. Excuse me, ma'am. You Excuse certainly me. don't know anything, right? Beg your pardon? What is it, Lyons? This girl was abducted an hour ago by a guy who fits Banks' description. If it's him, he's still local. What are you going to do with that? I don't do drugs. <coughs> if you let me go, I won't tell anyone. I promise. You can do it if you want. I won't scream. What do you mean? Do what? No. What do you want then? <coughs> I'll untie you, but you gotta promise me that you're not gonna do anything, okay? Okay. Don't try to take off. I swear. I promise. I promise. Understand. Well, let me see. <coughs> you okay? uh, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Um, thank you for trusting me.
How we doing, Carter? You got a trace? Working on it. Um. All around the mulberry bush, the monkey chased the weasel. And the monkey thought it was all in fun, but the monkey got fooled, didn't he? All right, stop. <sighs> Pop goes the weasel. Tom, where's the girl? Monkeys and weasels don't mix, Mike. That's what all this is about anyway, right? Monkeys and weasels. Come on, Birdman, talk to me. Where is she? Here. Alive? Of course alive. What do you think? I'm a monster now. Where's here? Old McDonald had a farm and I'm sitting in the middle of it and he's outside having a cow. Where is he, damn it? Keep him talking. You know, they're trying to trace your call. Why are you fooling around like this? I can feel the virus growing inside me, Mike. 3,000 watt amplification. But it's weird, because it's given me strength. A newfound clarity. Focus. You made it airborne, didn't you? <sighs> Nobody knows about that. So what are you going to do with it? Oh, I don't know. Maybe kill a few million people? That's what Prentice wanted me to do, isn't it? That's what I was getting paid to do. Pop goes the weasel, Mike. Come on. Gotcha. Where? Kansas City, Missouri. Big Kush, Boise, Idaho, Corpus Christi. It's coming all over the internet. Where is it coming from? Everywhere. Mike, you remember this? <laughs> what was with all that Phoenix stuff, anyway? It was a bird we liked. It lived 500 years, died in flames, ruled the sky, stuff like that. We were the birdmen. Died in flames? Yeah, that's right. Is he fulfilling some sort of a prophecy? No, we were kids. I mean, what? I'm sorry. No, I'm... It's just, uh... He's talking about Germany, Hitler, I mean... He's become a zealot. Like most people would say he was a terrorist. I'm sorry, Mike, that's the truth. I really need your help on this, Mike. If I were him, I'd probably be holed up somewhere safe. Probably be setting up a lab somewhere. How? Supply it mail order under a different name. Like right, there are hundreds of mail order houses. There were a couple he liked. He got good deals on them. Saddam Hussein ordered smallpox samples from the states. Mail order. You think they put him on hold and asked for his mother's maiden name? I think they sent it to him, idiots. That's what I think. They spotted the expedition just outside the first Let's go. 
Slow down, okay? Stick that light up, would you? Come on. Some things never change. Just, just don't get us killed. You want to drive? You want me to drive? Is that it? Containment. They'll be there. with your hands up. Come on out, bro. It's okay. We didn't do nothing, lady, honest. The kids were clean. Uh, I mean, as far as Keller's concerned, no contamination. So was the vehicle. What's this about a sighting at a toy store? Sergeant. Thanks. Uh, a woman says she saw him poking around the stuffed animals. When she approached him, he put down a doll and walked out with another. Could be rigged. They're taking it now, sir. Uh, Captain? It's Carter's birthday. Are you kidding me? I just remembered something. What? Tom used to play this trick on my father. Dad liked wine. So Tom would fill a wine cork with this sneezing powder we got from this magic shop. Sneezing powder? And it was just pepper, but we didn't know it then. Anyway, he figured out a way to get the stuff in without pulling the cork out. Dad would stick in the cork screw, release the pepper, and sneeze his head off. I mean, we thought it was funny at the time. But... What are you thinking of? Prentice obviously got Tom to make Keller weapons grade. Maybe. So Tom would see Prentice as the Eichmann in the situation. Honey? Dinner's almost ready. The president sent some wine, dear. Isn't that nice? What's bothering you? There's a loose cannon out there. A doctor from one of the labs. He went crazy and stole a weapons-grade virus. I mean, they'll catch him, but... Weapons? Don't give me that look. We have to create them to find cures. Whatever. Look, oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I, I'm sorry. It's just, it's just a lot of pressure right now. It's your birthday, dear. Sit down. <sighs> Hello? Oh, hi, Helen. 
knew you'd call back. Oh, sorry, darling. That's the roast. Do you mind taking it out of the oven? Oh, no. It's all right. We haven't started to eat yet. I think you should open this one first. It's right. from John, and then I... Hold it right there. Don't move. What the hell's going on here? We have reason to believe that the cork might be laced with a killer virus, sir. What are they talking about, honey? They're saying that this man's brother might have poisoned our wine. Sir, we're not sure. We have to run some tests. Soldier at ease. You're as crazy as your brother. I beg your pardon? You have scared the crap out of my wife and insulted the President of the United States. The President, sir? That's who sent me the wine. Lions. I don't believe that. How oh, dare you! Honey, oh, honey! Oh, this is going to make me look like a fool. Sir, sorry for the inconvenience, but have you seen how this thing kills? I've seen the pictures. They don't do it justice. The president's secretary confirms he sent the wine. Asked if there was anything wrong with it. Satisfied. It's the wrong year. What? Tommy never would have sent the 91. General, I'm so very sorry for intruding on your evening. Captain, I, mean, I want you and your people out of here immediately. And I want you to find that maniac now. Yes, sir. <sighs> Doctor. Yeah. I got something. Again? A, about six weeks ago, a g and scientific out of High Point, North Carolina, ships 52 grand worth of lab equipment and supplies to an RFD in Salem, Maryland, a new company called Phoenix Brothers Research. You think it's him? Well, it's gotta be worth a try. Salem, that's, uh, what, half an hour north? The way you drive, 72 miles. I mean, it's a farm country. Okay. Checks out. This farm is leased to the Phoenix Brothers Company, and the chopper spotted a red pickup just like the kids. Make this left over here. Looks like you nailed it this time, Mike.
Here's the horn. Go talk to him. Tommy? Tommy? Okay. Me? Tell him to come out with his hands up. Tommy, uh, they say you should step outside with your hands up. That's all. It's gonna be fine. Tommy, please. Can you hear me? What should I do? Tell him if he doesn't come out in one minute, we'll have to take him out. Well, what about the girl? We have to assume she's dead, Mike. Tommy, please come out, bro. Tommy, they say that if you don't come out within a minute, they're going to blow the place up. Tommy! This is real! Ready weapons. What are you doing? What are you doing? Kate. Get down, weapons up. Kate, give him a chance. Mike, get down. I'm going in there. Mike, get down. I gotta. Mike! Mike! Tommy, please! Mike! Son of a bitch! Tommy, please! Mike! Get over here. Jesus Christ. Mike, get down now. Tom, what are you doing? Mike, you're in our line of fire. Get down. Tom, shoot if you want. I'm not stopping. Captain, it's him. He wants to talk to Mike. Mike, it's Tommy on the phone. He says if you don't stop, he'll shoot the girl. Put your headset on, Mike. We'll patch him through. What now, Tom? I need 12 more hours. No. Ask him to show us the girl now. I don't believe you. I need to see the girl alive. She's alive. But if I have to, I'll... I'll kill her. No, you won't. That's not who you are, Tom. Oh, no. Then who am I? What do you want me to tell them? You tell them don't burn down the hut yet, bro. Stand down. We wait until tomorrow. And then? Hopefully, Mike. He'll be dead. These things will kill you. Should have been there for him. I mean, when she died.
Maybe all this could have been avoided. No. Don't do that to yourself, Mike. Tommy needed professional help. I should have been able to figure it out. I'm very sorry about what I said back then. I know. I must look terrible. You know you're beautiful. Well, thanks, Mike. I, I didn't mean to fish around for a No. You really are. Like, this isn't the time. You never is, it? No, sir. So, do you have any feelings about all this? Yes, sir. This is cold. Sir? Sir, what did he mean by don't burn down the hut? In Africa, when someone is deathly ill, they put him in a hut by himself, far away from the village. And every day they bring out food for him. They figure if he keeps taking the food, sooner or later he'll be all right. And if he doesn't, he'd burn down the hut. Right. Robot. General Prentice would like to see you. Right this way. Good morning, sir. Captain? It won't be long now, sir. It's been too long already. I mean, he can't last much longer. The disease kills him. I know all about the disease, Captain. I want it over with now. Uh, but the girls, sir. They're both terminal. I want your people in there recovering the virus immediately. Yes, sir. You call me when this operation is complete. Yes, sir. I want a sharpshooter now. We're going in. Dr. Lugo already has. What? Lock and load. We're moving in. Get out. Now. Maddox, in here. Take care of that girl in there. Tom? 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 Oh, 
Tommy. Good. Tommy, let me get you out of here. No. I can make you comfortable. I'm comfortable. Take your head off. What I have is not airborne. much time let me talk she was perfecting the vaccine <coughs> and I knew that once Prince got his vaccine he just tried to have us make Keller weapons great and she wanted out I asked her to please continue. And she stayed and she died. Oh, you didn't do anything. I did it all. I paid with everything I love. Everything. I know. I couldn't live without her, Mike. All that business about Germany. You you didn't have any intention of Germany. Oh, Mike. I've seen the face of evil. You can come take a look. Hi, Kate. Hi, Tommy. It's all here. Keller. Keller, too. The vaccine is in the house. I've been working on it the last few days. There's only one way to get rid of it, right? Let me burn down my hood. Tommy. Tommy. Mike. Mike. Come on. No. Mike, we've got to get out of here. Oh! Tommy!
How you feeling? Save my life. I think you did. Are they gonna quit making those weapons? What weapons? The ones Tom was talking about. I don't know. He wasn't finished. Mike. It's over. Maybe. I think there's something more. Honey, I know it's hard, but... You've got to let go. Right. That's right. Sharon, who? Oh, that reporter. She's a hot shot. Give her nothing. Yes, just deny everything. It's on a need to know basis only. Right. Honey, when did this come in? Today. It's from your aide, uh, Sergeant Conlon. Oh, Jeff. Yeah, he was in Hawaii. Oh, <laughs> look, it's a phoenix. I used to have one of these when I was a kid. <laughs> 